Good morning, folks. We've got a number of items to hit today. Space weather, our May tour event, Mars, a strange asteroid tail, and another indication that Earth's vulnerability continues surging as the ongoing magnetic pole shift progresses. Let's start with our star. We have several active regions and coronal holes on the Earth-facing half. They have not produced much in the way of flares or Earth-directed eruptions over the last 24 hours, but alas, we still have space weather on its way to Earth from the previous days. Filaments continue destabilizing, so we'll keep watch on the ones facing Earth, but of course two days ago we saw a filament release that is likely to give us a glancing blow tomorrow could produce geomagnetic storm activity, especially since it's riding on the tail of the coronal hole stream. The enhanced solar wind is expected to arrive tonight, and so we have a multiple event scenario ready to play out in geospace. Luckily, both should be relatively minor. We will of course be watching for more eruptions, not only from the filaments but from these sunspots as well. New group with some apparent complexity incoming on the north just crested over the limb. Quick note here, we upped the capacity of our San Diego event yesterday. It had been sold out, but now we can fit a few more people at the event. If you want to come out May 13th, check the link below the video. The mineral mapping instrument on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has officially been retired. This is where we got almost all our most updated information about the Martian surface chemistry, including the indications of where water had flowed and may remain today. A study has created more questions than answers at Phaeton. It is thought to be responsible for the geminid meteor shower, but now the data conclusively shows that its tail is made of sodium and not dust. They can't figure out how it could possibly be responsible for the meteor shower now. Solve one problem, create a bigger one. Welcome to astronomy. Lastly, folks, file this in the same category as the red aurora in Florida after the previous solar storm. The one over this last weekend sent aurora all the way south again. This is the second time in a month that a supposedly ultra-rare auroral event has occurred. Hadn't happened since 2003 and before that, 1989, during superstorms from the sun. But both these events the last 30 days were from moderate impacts at best, meaning our weakening magnetic field in the pole shift is driving our planet's vulnerability onward and upward. The shift continues. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more and check out our resources at the links in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.